so the types of choices students get to make during their instructional block could be, uh, they vary. So some could be academic based. How do I choose to show my learning? Um, do I choose to show it project based? Do I choose to show it through a graphic organizer? Do I choose to write about it? Those are some ways they show it. Other choices they have is where they want to work, whom they want to work with. Do they want to work independently? Do they want to work in, in, in a collaborative group? Uh, so those are the major choices and we also let them choose uh, what they're working on. So for example, uh, they had to create a travel brochure, a persuasive travel brochure to visit another country. Um, so they had to find resources for that country. I put a, a bunch of country books in Mayan, but I didn't tell them what country they had to choose. I put a list of 20 countries in there. So they had to choose from one out of 20. And think about the power behind me telling you to do something or you choosing to do something. Where are you going to get more student agency from? And when they chose to do the projects, they were phenomenal because it was what they wanted to do. I think that's a big thing we do here. We, we kind of have guided choice, so we lead the kids in the direction we want them to go without telling them, so we let them have a lot more freedom, but we still actually control it in, in a certain degree. You know, it's not me saying you need to do idioms and you need to do this. It's what do you feel like you want to know more about or what do you feel like, um, you know, hey, I remember us doing that, but I can't, I can't explain it. And sometimes I'll ask them when we're conferencing with them, well, from those things, on my sheet, a lot of the kids were like, I have no idea what personification is. Like, what is that? So a lot of them decided to go there because they were interested in learning about it. Um, a lot of the kids chose character traits. Sometimes they like a certain graphic organizer. So I think that's where we started to kind of shift a little bit, where it's not just differentiated in terms of, you know, super high level, medium level, and low level, but talking to the kids about, so what is it that you feel like you actually need to practice and work on? You can either choose for fun and kind of an enrichment to work on Roman numerals. If you guys are struggling, if you guys need a little bit more input, Travell's pretty good at this. He's mastered this. He's volunteered to help out. Integers, Diana can help me out on that as well. So if you guys are struggling with integers, go see Diana. And those of you guys who like to be stretched, here's linear equations. So once again, Damon, a couple of you guys in the multi-age started on this one. This one's actually the, like, the more fun one to me. I enjoy linear equations. I enjoy trying to solve problems under this format. So it's up to you.